Hey Virgos, this is you versus them. This is for December 9th through the 16th. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs, guys. This is a general reading, so it's not going to resonate for everyone. If it does, please hit that like button. Share the video, subscribe to the channel. If you guys need a personal reading, you can either email me or um, visit the website and um, select which, which reading you are wanting, okay? All right, guys. Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on with my Virgos? December 9th through the 16th. All right, first card out. Knight of Cups. Um, this is some of you wanting to offer something to somebody, something substantial. I feel like you're a little shaky about it though. You're not really that sure. You're not sure how they're going to react. If you come in with this offer of love because th this is somebody that's eager also somebody that does not want to be rejected nobody wants to be rejected but I feel like that's what's kind of holding you back not being sure of yourself here now let's be clear Virgos if this is you want to make an offer Either some of you walked away from somebody and did things that you were not proud of, but you did anyway. Or either this is somebody that you're trying to make an offer to that's not the best person. Okay? Only you know your separate stories. This is Aquarius energy here. I don't like this person, Virgos. I'm sorry. Um, with the Seven of Swords and the Page of Swords, this is somebody that seems to be very, very sneaky. And they do things strictly to benefit themselves, okay? They don't say very much. They probably... Sometimes it's good to sit back and listen to people, but you know what? They don't say very much. They are the ones that's observing, which makes me feel like they're manipulative. So be careful with that. Be careful with that. Somebody that always feels like the grass is greener on the other side. It's almost like an opportunist. Okay? Cancer energy here. Be careful with that. Yeah, then they come as a magician here. I don't get very good vibes from this magician. I feel like this is somebody that's really self-serving. And they they want to come back. Hmm. It's something about you that they feel like is um, benefit, beneficial to them. They want to come and make things right with you. You guys have the same energy as far as how you want to approach each other. But I feel like you're more genuine here. I feel like you're way more genuine here than they are. I'm getting... They may be coming back because, you know, they, they're they leaving something that, you know, broke their heart, that they felt betrayed by. Hmm. Somebody that maybe just got out of a relationship. Um, sometimes people don't like to be alone. And um, so they're looking to attach to something else to try to help speed up that healing process. But that never works. That never works. So, look at that. Yeah. 
And, you know, the way this card is laying, this is um, the Knight of Pentacles. This is somebody that really studies something. They kind of weigh their options. And, you know, all of this, I feel like this is more the person that you are dealing with or thinking about I feel like because they have their horses pointed in your direction, but they're looking back. So it's somebody that they're leaving behind that um, wasn't suiting them. There's also heartbreak between the two of you, and I feel like it's more on your end. Um, but you are manifesting this person into your life, back into your life, I'll say, for some of you. But there's, there's heartbreak surrounding this person because they, they left in a way that was not, um, not a good way at all. They may have lied to you. They may have even stolen from you, um, cheated on you, possibly here. Okay. So be careful if somebody like that is, is coming back into your life. Just be observant and use your power of discernment. Okay. So Virgos, that's what I have for you for the 9th through the 16th. I'll speak with you soon.